Let me go show you around. The babies are growing up. There's been so many new additions, so come with me. Let's go check it out. Give it up for my girl, Fallon Taylor. Here we go. The 2014 champion of the world on Baby Flow. Congratulations. Congratulations. World champion. And my life is kind of crazy. <laughs> Follow her on TikTok. The Fallon T on TikTok. <laughs> What's up, Flomies? Welcome to the ranch. Thank you so much for all the love and support on my thoroughbred makeover journey. You guys, can you believe it? You helped me. Everybody, so many people helped me and Cowboy Swagger. Are we okay? Yeah. Oh, so many people helped me and Cowboy Swagger and all of us as a team. It literally takes a village to make something like this a reality. And here we are, America's most wanted thoroughbred of 2019. I can't believe it. Thank you so much. Behind me is my horseshoer, Dawson. He's doing stuff and things. We have a lot of horses in training right now. If you guys want to get your horse in training, make sure to email FallonandFlow at gmail.com and your horse can be right here in Baby Flo's barn in training. But we want to talk about Baby Flo's barn today because there's been so many updates. We also lost a family member from here at the ranch. So I want to update you guys on that a little bit later in the vlog. Um, let's start out on a happy note. So let me go show you around. The babies are growing up. Now you guys remember seeing these. If you follow me on Instagram, you saw them the day that they were born. You saw them basically come out of the womb and grow up on this ranch. Now it's time for us to start riding them. There's been so many new additions, so come with me. Let's go check it out. That's a nice boy, boy. Hi. Ooh. I got slimed so hard. This is Flohawk. This is a knickknack baby. He is a gorgeous two-year-old Roan, and we think he's phenomenal. He is actually my pick of the two-year-olds. Um, his dad is Pepper Joe Hancock. His mom is Knickknack, and his name is Flohawk. So he was born with a little mohawk, and we think he's super cool. And he won't grow a tail because he's such a rebel. He's so he has such seen hair. So he's into punk music. Um, he likes long walks in, on the horse walker, and um, he's a little emotionally sensitive. Doesn't even know who his dad is. Okay. <laughs> His dad doesn't understand He's him. never even met his dad. He's never even met his dad. He left when he was very young, like three days as an embryo. This I is like Buckstitch. Buckstitch is Jesse's favorite. Yeah. So Buckstitch is drop dead gorgeous. They're a little tricky to tell apart, um, but Buckstitch, his papers are still pending. His dad is a son of Streak of Fling. So we're excited about this colt. He's also a two year old, also born right here. This is the phenom known as Loco. Now Loco's mom is an off the track thoroughbred named Enchanted Landing. His dad is Pepper Joe Hancock, which is the same as Flohawk, so they're half siblings. Also a half brother to an NFR qualifier that Junior Nogueta rides. So um, we like this colt. Now this colt we invested so much time in. Jesse personally has spent hours and hours while we were out of town with this colt. Bailey has spent hours and hours and hours and hours with this colt. Bailey and Dawson together, me, Bailey, Cody, Jesse together, hours and hours and hours in the rain and the cold and everything else. We have spent so much time with this colt. So he is, um, I would say a little bit of a rebel of a colt. Um, he's a, a horse that takes a lot of trust in order to really bond with. So um, he will be for sale a little bit later in our program when he's a little bit further along, but we'll have to go to somebody that's like super special and spend some time with us. So if you guys are interested in this guy, you can hit me up later, not now, he's not ready. All right, let's, now that pasture is full, completely full, we'll get to those guys another day. There's so many babies out there. A lot of you guys that follow us closely on Instagram probably know all of their names by now, but there's too many. Let's get to the sad part. This has been really, really tough for Alex to deal with. This is one of his first big losses here on the ranch. But in this pin um, were all of Alex's minis. They're currently just turned out. They're outside, um, out back eating and playing. But 
the big horse that's missing here is Hefe. He was our rescue um, paint horse. You guys may have seen us rehab and rehabilitate him. I bought him off the side of the road when I noticed that he was malnourished and the family needed some help. And so I took the horses in or took the horse in. Um, he was 32 and you know the weather changing he passed away in his sleep he had absolutely no pain no colic um we almost lost him this summer with the heat and we were able to get him past the summer months and it cooled off and he simply just laid down and went to sleep and never woke up again so very tough loss if you guys follow alex on instagram make sure and go show him some love i think that we find our solace in knowing that we gave him the very best last year of his life that we possibly could have um giving him the company of these cute little minis and all the food he could ever eat and clean water and just a really happy fulfilling lifestyle so we're very happy that he was a part of our journey um we appreciate all the prayers from you guys because it's never easy to lose a horse especially one that you were trying to save um, but we did do that and we just have to understand when we take these rescue horses in that it's always going to be a little bit of a rocky road so we didn't want this spot to be empty because it would make Alex even more sad. We've got a horse in here. Let me take you in here to go meet Chuckarita. Okay, in this pen we have this drop dead gorgeous five year old mare. Her name is Chuckarita. She was raised here. She is um, by the same dad as Chuck Norris. So she's a half sibling to Chuck Norris. She's drop dead gorgeous. As you can see, she's a big strong mare. Her mom was a reigning horse and own daughter of Shining Spark. Um, but she has like no reigning features whatsoever. She's like hard running speed demon crotch rocket vibes. This is our like Corvette Lambo. This is fast. You don't wanna just crawl on this without a plan. So Chuckarita just, you know, every horse is completely different. She just has a lot of energy. She doesn't prefer a stall. She likes to be out in the sunshine all day. So that's what she's gonna get. And that's what she just seems to grow and blossom and do a lot better out here. So I'm gonna take you to the pins that are on the outside. We call Chuck Norris's pin the race car bed because he's like a big boy in him race car bed. And so we're gonna show you his outside pin because that's just what he likes. And then all the updates of the horses here on that side, just in case you wanted a little ranch update because you guys have been asking, so we did it. All right. Let's go over there. Okay, outside pins. We'll start with Pearly. Pearl Snap was ranch raised at my parents' house. Her registered name is Nix Fuel. She is out of an Oklahoma Fuel mare, and she's by um, a son of Dr. Nick Barr, which we love, named Nick Barr's Viper. But she's so pretty and so cute. I bought her back. Um, she was a broodmare prospect for me. Um, I sold her to some friends of mine and they had her for sale. So I bought her back and she has been doing so good. We actually weren't expecting to ride her or do much with her. And then I just couldn't resist the temptation, especially with John being here and having basically two trainers on board that could actually get this done. So, um, I'm just excited to see what she might do in the future. We're very excited. And we have babies out of her. She had a baby last year. So I'm really pumped up. That will be in the baby update a little while from now. So the next pin, you guys know this guy. It's Chuck Norris. And this is him, big boy waist call bed. Because he has a waist call bed. Because he's a big boy boy. Mwah. I probably have dirt all over my face. Chuck Norris is five years old. His mom is Dawn's Victory. And his dad is Nick Swachuko, which is a full sibling to Baby Flo. We lost him a long time ago. He was a very special horse to us. And that is Chuckarita's mom, too. So Chuckarita, Chuck Norris, we call them the Chucks. Chuckarita's dad. Chuckarita's, Chuckarita's dad. She took a DNA test. She's 100% related to Chuck Norris. This is Nikki. Now, I don't own Nikki, but Nikki was raised here. My friend Rochelle bought her from us. And she is an own daughter of Nick Knack and Uzi, my horse that I had a couple of years ago. So Nikki is gorgeous. She's like a show off. She definitely knows she's pretty. I'm gonna move her around so you can see her. She is the perfect man. Yeah, she is the Barbie horse of all time. Main goals, brand goals, tail goals. She's just everything. This horse is everything. Her name's Nikki, she's everything. She's two years old, she already runs barrels. She, we obviously are taking it very simply, so we make sure to maintain the integrity of her structure and her bones and her hocks and all that fun stuff until she's really ready to rip and go. But for now, 
she's gonna get to play and be a sweet girl um, but obviously it's a big family tree we got more to show you okay the usuals knickknack neffy I think we can skip past those I don't know do you think do you not <laughs> they are yeah because we do have a lot of new subscribers if you're not already subscribed make sure to be subscribed so you don't miss anything. This gorgeous girl is often ridden by my bestie, the tie-dye fairy, but she is with child and she's creating us a glorious human to add to our family. So in the meantime, I ride her, John rides her, anybody rides her, because we wanna keep her in tip-top shape and stay winning. This is Neffy. Her mom's name is Flowers and Money. Her dad is Dr. Nick Barr. She is a full sibling, full sister to Nick Knack and Baby Flo. So we call them the sisters. So you've met the sisters and the chucks. The oldest sister, or as Jesse says, the most experienced sister, is Nick Knack. Now, Nick Knack is kind of the coolest, calmest, co most collected chick of all of them. She's just like super chill until you hit the go button. Then she is like extremely hard to ride. Um, but she's a really, really sweet girl. And obviously, we love her because she helped to make Mojo. Mojo is Sea Money's horse. And this is his mama. So let's look at some more. This is my best friend's horse. Her name's Oakley. And she's been getting that glow up to the 1D. And what had happened was she was left at my bestie's house at seven months old. And the owner never came back. So this gorgeous girl, who is Peppy Sand Badger bred, um, she is by Doc Solano, or who's she by? Doc Solano. Doc Solano. Um, she's just a really, really nice mare. Check out my other videos so you can see a video of her being run. But she trained her from YouTube videos that she saw on my YouTube 12 years ago um, is when I started making YouTube tips. She saw them like six years ago, and this big gorgeous girl was trained on those, and she did a fabulous job. Okay, there's more horses. This is Sunday brunch. Um... I don't know if you can notice anything about Sunday brunch. Um, British, she's British accents only. Oh, su Sunday brunch. Yeah. Go for a spot of tea. <laughs> Is that British? That's just a bad accent. It's like liver, Liverpool. Liverpool spot spot of tea. Um, this girl's big. She's a giant farm animal. She is 17 plus hands and absolutely gorgeous. She's a Dutch warm blood and she's basically the only horse that we have here that we don't know her entire family tree or she wasn't raised here besides my thoroughbred, but we already saw where he was raised. So this big giant girl is my jumping mare and I only jump every once in a while, but she gets to go outside and play all the time and live the life in the meantime. And then when I get in the mood to jump, She's like the scamper of jumping horses. She just lets me get on her back and go over jumps beautifully. And then she goes right back to resting. Now she is almost 20 years old. So we don't do a ton of stuff on her, um, but we keep her in amazing shape and just conditioned to go play and have fun. So not a lot of tough work for this gal in retirement. Oh, oh wow. wow. And this ladies and gentlemen is the 2019 America's most wanted thoroughbred thoroughbred makeover champion, Cowboy Swagger. He's pretty humble. He doesn't really like to tamper time. His sweet boy. His dad is Grindstone. His mom is One Fast Cowgirl, and that's not me. Her name is literally One Fast Cowgirl. And he won $15,000 a couple days ago. A little pretty too. I think he just wants love and oats. I don't know what my plan is yet with Cowboy Swagger. I have a big thing about horses that get shoveled down to the bottom of our priority list, not being able to get the fulfillment and the credit that they deserve. So if I find him sliding back um, in kind of our, our priority list, I'm going to for sure rehome him. Um, I'm not ready to do that right now. I don't feel like that's on my priority. Yeah, that's on my priority list right now. But he's such a big, sweet, kind boy. If I do sell him, I will let you guys know but he'd have to go someplace really, really, really special. So he's falling asleep now. Look at his eyeballs. Yeah, I'll tie, I'll tie, I'll tie, I'll tie. He's a teddy bear if you can't figure that out. I'll tie, I'll tie. See you guys later. We'll go to the next stall. Oh, wow, hi, Daryl. This little Daryl is three years old. Her name is Hush Money. Her mama is Baby Flo. 
and her daddy is slick by design. We think she's really, really special. Um, she's just a top-notch three-year-old. She's got so much talent. She reminds us so much of Baby Flo, and we love her. So we're excited for her fraternity year. She's going to the Juvenile um, Contest in Oklahoma City. Wait, it's in Guthrie this year in November. So next month, she goes to run in the Juvenile Fraternity. So wish us luck. All right, next pony you probably already know. This is Mojo. Mojo is a ham. He gets into everything. Um, he is best known for his work remodeling his stall where he takes the wood off so he can make a hey new friend hole. Um, you'll see Flobot probably stick his head through the hey new friend hole. That's what he calls them. It's kind of like prison break but for horses and horses that are happy not trying to get out of anywhere but just trying to congregate. So Mojo's mom is Nick Knack, who you just saw. His dad is Traffic Guy. His registered name is Traffic Flow. And we are about to name his sister that'll be here in the spring. Well, I'm not gonna disclose the name, because what if y'all take it? Yeah, I'm yeah, not gonna take that name. That. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna yeah. tell you the name. Next up on the roster, I don't wanna say he's my favorite, but he might be my favorite, but he, I don't know if, I don't wanna call him my favorite. Flowbot. This is who I won fourth in the short round at Pendleton on. This is my baby that's got the amazing story about um, having a scarred um, past where he got a virus very young and it maimed his anatomy and so he looks a little different. But as the underdog, he's still killing it and he's also killing my shoulder because he's falling asleep. My shoulder. Flowbot, and there's Mojo. See, Mojo's not getting attention so he kicks the wall. Um, Flowbot is four years old. Mojo! Flowbot is four years old. His mom is Baby Flo. His dad is Blazing Jetalina. And he's there too. But he has a twin. That's right. So let's go check out his twin. This is Lolo. Lolo's the cutest little girl in all the world. She's four years old. Obviously, they're twins. Same mom, same dad. Obviously, they're twins. Bless you. And she's very cute, and I don't know which one is more my favorite. She's been out running her brother here lately, so we shall see. This week I'm going to use Flowbot for some pro rodeos, so I'm excited. That's what's coming up, um, so make sure and be subscribed. But now you've met the Chucks, the sisters, and the twins. So we have one more pony. And drum roll for our very favorite sweet girl of the sisters. It's Baby Flo! She is the 2018 and 2014 world champion. She's 13 years old this year. She stands about 14'3". I mean, you could say she stands 15 hands tall if she's standing on mats and on shavings. She has a companion goat because she struggled with anxiety in the past. Basically, Baby Flo is the <laughs> manifestation of me as a person. Oh man, her face was in the corner. That's her dote, itsy bitsy. Um, Baby Flo is basically me as a horse. She's got, you know, some anxiety issues, maybe a little bit of codependency, um, but a straight, flat out, goal smashing warrior ninja. So we're a lot alike. Um, this chick has won me a million dollars inside of the rodeo arena, and I owe her so much, and I try to appreciate her and tell her that every single day. Now, what's really cool about Baby Flo, the sisters, the Chucks, the twins, and every horse here on the ranch um, that is related, I went to the National Finals Rodeo in Las Vegas, which is the Rodeo Super Bowl, on her parents. So Dr. Nick Barr, her dad, and Flowers and Money, her mom, are buried at my parents' ranch where I started my career. Now, it's very special to us because I don't know anybody that's done this to this extent um, where she is carrying on that tradition. And maybe there's an NFR in the future for Mojo or Flobot or Lolo or even Hush Money or all of those down the line. So. We don't feel connected to these animals um, by just writing checks for them and bringing them into the ranch. We feel connected by knowing where they came from and knowing that this is kind of an underdog breed um, with them being very small. Um, and we know that they tend to be pretty anxious. Um, and we love being able to show the world what they're made of and how tough you can be. She's currently uh, just really wanting to love on see money. So excuse me. Oh wow, she's loving on you. Hang on, let me see. Let me see your camera. Let me see your camera. If you scratch her, right back here. No, so turn around and she'll like your hair. She'll Get like your hair. hair. Get your hair. Okay, Jesse's getting the belly. Toby's getting the massage. There it is. There she does. There she does. 
Almost. Come on, let it. Hey, her hair's too. I know. It is nice. That is nice. That's a nice girl. Yeah, so. I don't see. Yeah, that's nice. It's, it's nice. That is nice. She's the queen, she's the matriarch of everything that we're doing here, and we love giving you guys this tour. So let me tell you what's coming up. We have rodeos coming up, we have some fun stuff coming up, and of course Las Vegas in December, but we have a lot of competing to do before then. We have the AQHA World Championships, we have about five pro rodeos, we're even gonna go possibly play in the snow if there's not too much snow. So we'll keep you posted on where we're going, where the rodeo road is taking us. But you guys, thank you so much for joining me today for the barn tour. As always, don't forget to count your blessings, drink your protein, and say thank you to Jesus. See you next time.